Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tay, and I'm back again with another video. Today's Vlogmas day 22, and unfortunately, this is not a vlog. This is a Q and A. Um, I haven't been doing much these last couple days. Like, just been in bed, you know. So today, um, I posted on Instagram and on Snapchat for people to ask me questions for my video and yeah let's just get right into it if you notice anything different with my hair um i actually changed the rubber bands in my hair because the ones that i used last night in last night's video they kept breaking so it was getting me aggravated so i redid them before i went to bed like i literally was in bed chilling and then i felt one go pop and i said no and i <laughs> literally picked it up and redid my whole head it didn't take that long i was just it's fixed it's there it's just different color rubber bands because i just wanted to have a cute hairstyle for like a day <laughs> like that's it a day so the first question is what is your zodiac sign i am a sagittarius if you did not know already my birthday was actually 20 days ago on the second so if you haven't watched my vlogmas day two my 21st birthday or my vlog vlogmas day one preparing for my 21st birthday um those will be linked up above somewhere and down in the description box and also at the end of the video so y'all will be able to watch that what are your pet peeves so my biggest pet peeve is when people just don't communicate with you like period like it doesn't matter what the situation is like if you don't speak up or say what you need to say like your voice is not gonna be heard and if you think that I'm being rude then so be it because I'm saying what's on my mind and what's on my chest and if you're not gonna do the same then nothing's ever gonna be solved or whatever the case may be like another pet peeve of mine is people that don't apologize me personally any little thing any little minor inconvenience that happens I always say sorry I just feel like apologizing to people is very important because then you'll be able to move on from the situation if not then we're just gonna be sitting in the same boat because there was no acknowledgement towards what was happening the next question here is what is your dream house or some place you want to live so personally i don't know a lot of people have been talking about moving out of like their homes or like moving out of state but personally I don't see myself moving out of state because I see myself having this house in my possession and making it my own and doing what I want with it that's literally my dream like I have a house in like a literal hotspot of where everyone wants to be and I just feel like I can just take it and make it do my own little spin on it and you know make it more modern make it more my type we'll see where the future leads us but if I had to pick somewhere I would go, like, or I would love to live in, live at, it would definitely be somewhere not in America. So, someone said your dream car. Personally, when I was little, I used to always want a Volkswagen Beetle, preferably the convertible. <laughs> but as I got older, that changed. It went to, like, the Jeep Wrangler. It went to like the Range Rover and right now I don't really want those cars like they're nice but I don't really know what I want right now like I'm not too Corbett Corbett <laughs> um I don't know I feel like any I don't want to say basic but those basic nice cars that everyone has like Infinities or Audis or something like that like I feel like that's more where i'm leaning towards right now but i still love range rovers but i don't really see myself getting that like realistically i really don't it's just like an epitome in my mind so <laughs> favorite place you traveled to my favorite place no if y'all know me i have literally traveled to every continent besides maybe like two <laughs> and i don't really know where my favorite place is but I think I would say Italy right now because I was there for like a month like living there basically so like I was 
in my own little room i was taking care of myself but i was still in like the music program so i was still like you know experiencing a whole different life there i just feel like that was just fun to just live life in italy for a month like imagine or maybe even turkey to be honest with you turkey was like a real good experience for me 10 out of 10 would recommend going to turkey if you can if you have the chance to please take the opportunity because that was a whole different experience between italy and turkey one says how do you stay productive honestly honestly what i do is i write down everything that i do like that i need to do for the day whether it's in my phone or in the on my notebook or even in my school agenda like when we were in school because i would need to see everything that i need to do laid out in front of me so like that i know that i have done this or that have i accomplished today or not like you know what i mean like i just can't get up and be like oh i'm just going to randomly do this today or i'm not gonna do this i'll do it another time like personally i need to have things done on a certain day so if i say it's gonna be done today it's gonna be done today like period personally if i don't have a productive day i feel like i didn't do anything like with a purpose that day <laughs> yeah so to stay productive i would say to write it down whether it's in your reminders or in a notebook because that genuinely contributes to you seeing your day in front of you and then once you get things done you will automatically see your checklist being complete and by the end of the checklist you're like dang now i have time to do this or do that or go to the store look at some things because i have some spare time you know what i mean so that's how i stay productive um even though sometimes i don't have productive days trust me i really don't have productive days every day but the last month or like the last month in a couple weeks i've definitely been productive literally every day up until like last week or something because i was still in school and i was still trying to make videos and i was trying to do vlogmas and it was my birthday and it was just like pretty hectic for me at a certain point but with the help of making to-do lists and planning my days out i was able to accomplish everything that i needed to accomplish realistically like i wasn't going to bend over and break my neck because i needed to do this today like we need to be reasonable <laughs> and we need to lay things out in like timely manner with everything else like especially with finals like i was just like checked out by the first week of vlogmas but we have made it to 22 days 22 days later and we're just gonna continue next question is what's something you want to learn personally i've always wanted to learn how to play the guitar <laughs> i remember growing up people used to buy me like the little um i forgot what they're called the little kid guitars and stuff like that and i remember at one point i tried to learn but i just couldn't do it i don't know why but i could have learned in high school i had a chance but i just didn't i don't know why but it's just always something that i've always wanted to learn second thing that i've always wanted to learn is is hacking i don't know what it is but like the whole like computer coding and knowing how to hack into systems and all that sort of is just like really interesting to me like just computer coding in general like people who genuinely know each and every like code that's out there to manipulate computers or whatever it is it's just something that i've always been interested into as well i've also always wanted to learn how to do nails fun fact when i was in middle school i used to do my nails by myself all the time i had all these designs and everything like so many like i had bottles on top of bottles on top of bottles of nail polish different nail art like kits and stuff like that people my mom used to get me like it was just a lot and in my instagram not this instagram like i had a whole different dis instagram account before the one that i have now and i had so many pictures that i had to just delete the whole account and start over and i kind of regret it because i could have just archived those pictures but in my old instagram account i used to have like pictures of my nails like every other day or like every other week 
and I regret stopping because now like I could probably still do it but I just haven't done it in a long time so and I know like this summer um, my uncle's girlfriend bought like things to do like our nails with and she was like I definitely feel like you can make this your thing if you wanted to and I'm like I know I just don't try like I don't know like some of these things I don't know why I haven't tried like I've had so many opportunities and I just didn't take it and American Sign Language I always wanted to learn American Sign Language I know how to say like hi my name is and then it's like Taylor so T-A-Y-L-O-R um, I know the alphabet but sometimes I always confuse the letters <laughs> but I've always wanted to learn fluently like I want to be able to communicate with somebody in a whole in like sign language and not be able to use my actual words you know what I mean what are your plans for New Year's um nothing because <laughs> If I'm trying to do what I'm trying to do after New Year's, then I'm not doing anything until then. Because I don't need to hear it. I really don't. So, my plans for New Year's this year is to stay home. 2020, the the en entering 2020 was a once in a lifetime thing because clearly something was going to happen. Because I went out last year and I never was able to go out. So, that's how I knew something was up with 2020. What are your goals for 2021? So for 2021, if the world could get its shit back together, um, I would love to be able to continue traveling. Because if you know me, I love traveling. I'm never home usually if we're on a vacation or a break because that's my chance to go to another city, go to another country. Another one of my goals for 2021 is definitely to lose more weight. Those of you who know, um, I have been literally in the gym since august um working trying to lose some weight trying to learn, lose this stomach because your girl put on some pounds while i was in school and that's not okay but those of you who know who live in boston all the gyms in boston should be closed for the next three weeks so i've just been sitting on my ass for <laughs> a week and a half oh and for my youtube i definitely want my youtube to like take off like I've been posting consistently literally for like this whole month and obviously I'm not gonna keep doing it after vlogmas is over but I'm definitely going to be posting more and hopefully that'll just gain more traction I just really I've been really doing this YouTube stuff for like six years seven years and the fact that my channel has not taken off yet or does not have the numbers that I want yet granted i've taken breaks in between only because of this feeling like i've literally stopped filming videos or posting videos because i felt like i wasn't gaining the numbers that i wanted so i'm not gonna let that stop me anymore i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing because eventually i will get to the numbers that i want and i'm speaking that into existence um i don't know i love doing youtube it's fun um i like talking to the camera i like talking to myself um i love doing fun things and recording that's literally it um i like to have memories so even if my channel does not take off like i have so many vlogs and so many things on my channel that will always be there and always be like a nice little memory box for me and my friends or me and my family so yeah the question said would you ever have a tiger as a pet personally no <laughs> i like tigers but i wouldn't want them as a pet now you know what i would want for a pet though i would want a dolphin if i had a pool in my backyard i would have a dolphin i love dolphins and just the fact that like i could swim with them play with them like we'd be besties i don't even need actual friends i'll have my dolphin <laughs> ever had a cheese covered pickle no that sounds disgusting and i don't want it so next you're having lunch you're having lunch a celeb and you have only one question to ask and talk about who are you choosing and what are you asking maybe one of three people it'd be beyonce drake or britney spears <laughs> i know or nikki so those were nikki minaj so four people so beyonce drake Nicki Minaj or Britney Spears so 
if I was to ask them any question, it would be like, do you regret being famous or do you regret doing what you did? Because I know the, this question would take a turn for some people and I don't know, I just feel like a lot of celebrities do have that regret of being famous or like they want to live the lives that they would have lived if they were just like a normal like person in society but i don't know i feel like i would ask them that and i feel like that would cause a conversation where you can just like continue to like get some more ideas from that and lastly this person said i don't have a question it's just what's up tay it's a d tell everyone to add me on snap and that's my little brother for, for those of you who don't know he said i love you so everyone add him on snapchat y'all can do whatever you want with that information but yeah so yeah thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little q a um if you haven't watched my other q a's please go do that links will all be in the description box okay so yeah i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog and for those of y'all who have watched every day of vlogmas shout out to you Thank you guys for watching. Bye.